I've got a physics question that is really troubling me for the past couple of days. This was asked in KBI 2012 to class 11 students. Can you please help me in solving this question? Okay, let me see if I can. Thank you. Firecracker is thrown with a velocity of 30 meters per second in a direction which makes an angle 75 degree with the vertical axis. At some point on its trajectory, it splits into two identical pieces in such a way that one piece falls 27 meter far from shooting point. How far will the other piece fall from shooting point? Take g equal to 10 meter per second square and assume the trajectory of the whole system lies on the same plane. Here are the options. Projectile follows a similar path. What the question says is that the cracker is traveling with 30 meter per second making an angle of 15 degree with the horizontal. It must travel in a parabolic path just as us any other projectile will travel. But there's a twist in the question. Somewhere in the air the cracker is just explodes, ex, uh, exploding and that's why it's breaking down into two identical parts so now in the question the position of one of the part with respect to the starting point is given that is 27 meter from the starting point and it has been asked to find the position of the other mass from the starting point so by the formula of projectile we know how to calculate the range of the projectile so we can just calculate the range that is we know the formula A square of initial velocity sine of twice theta divided by acceleration due to gravity now putting the values we have u as 30 meter per second sine of twice of 15 degree which is the launch angle for this projectile divided by 10 that is our acceleration due to gravity and that will give us 900 multiplied by half that is the value of sine 30 by 10 so it gives 45 meter. Now since the cracker is exploding somewhere in the air that's why the center of mass of the cracker would travel the same trajectory as of the cracker. But these two pa particles, these two identical masses that exploded out of that cracker would travel some different paths. So we know that formula for center of mass is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 that is the position of center of mass here while applying the formula we know that the, our system was of 2m mass. I assumed it 2m for simplicity in calculation and so in the question it has been mentioned that the particles are identical in mass the two particles that came out of it while it exploded so they are both m mass each so while applying the formula for calculating the coordinate of the center of mass we know that m1 and m2 both equals m and in this question the position of one of them is given as 27 so it is 27 m plus another m but x2 that is our unknown and we have to find that divided by m1 plus m2 that is 2m equals the position of center of mass that is 45 meter that was our range okay i think i should 
explain it in a bit more detail that why I used the value of the range in the value of the center of mass is because the center of mass would travel the trajectory of the sub of the body as if the body has not exploded yet but the individual particles may travel in any direction uh, you may just think that the body has exploded so center of mass would also uh, travel some other trajectory but let me just uh, make it clear to you that the effect of internal forces on center of mass doesn't take place it's just the external forces which affects the position and acceleration of center of mass that's why the external forces here is just external force here is just the weight of the body that was the same even earlier so for translation you would like to use you would like to apply all the laws of physics on just the center of mass and not on the whole body for simplicity that's what i did here so when the particles touches the ground the center of mass will be range far away from the origin m m cancel out in from numerator and denominator and what we get is x2 equals 45 multiplied by 290 minus 27 goes l 2 lhs it becomes negative is equal to 63 meters so what we get here is that the position of the other particle the position of uh, the other particle is 63 meter from the starting point 63 meters is our one solution for the problem but thinking carefully you may find that there's one more possibility for the other particle that is let's again see the formula for center of mass that is x c o m equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 here we have taken 27 as positive while in the question it is just given as a distance that this particle is 27 meter far from the starting point it's not given that it's in the right direction or in the left direction it could have been in the equal uh, it could have been in the left direction as well that's why let's calculate the other solution that is let's write the formula here again now we will put we will again put the value of range here that is 45 m1 as m as we know but x1 as minus 27 plus m x2 again we will solve for x2 here and m1 plus m2 becomes 2m again and from here again m will cancel from numerator and denominator and we can solve for x2 like 45 multiplied by 290 plus 27 goes in lhs it becomes positive 90 plus 27 it becomes 117 meters so that's the solution 63 meters and 117 meters that's you can see it is in option d thanks for watching this video we'll soon return with some more awesome questions till then goodbye